So we're just going to talk about shoulder positioning uh, in most rowing movements. So when we're looking at a good shoulder position, we want to have a good uh, shoulder blade or scapula position, as well as a good glenohumeral joint position. So both those things play a factor into rowing. So we're looking at the rowing position. If Coach Brennan reaches out far in front of himself, this is where you're going to start from generally, and he's going to be working on pulling back. So let's say you were not very used to the movement, it'd probably look like this. So he goes through, pulls, and we see that shoulder position where he pauses here. That shoulder's pulling forward because he's using a lot of bicep. He's really pulling through his glenohumeral joint and not keeping a very strong, good position with his scapula. So what we want to do is we want to modify that position. So instead, he's going to start initiating the motion. It's ideally, once you get better, both move together. But he's working on getting that good shoulder blade position. It's going to be down and back, sliding on his ribcage. And then that shoulder, or that elbow is pulling back as far as it can while keeping in this position. So once he gets here, he's not going to keep coming because any more than this, and his shoulder blade has to move. So he wants to try and lock it into place, keeping his ribs down, so it's not like he's biasing and trying to arch. He's trying to get into that good position, and he's finishing here, his head's back, his shoulder blades pulled down and back, and the elbow's back. And if he had a weight, the dumbbell would be just about his, at his rib cage or touching his rib cage. So it's an effective pull, but it's not gonna put any stress on his body. He's not gonna irritate the front of his shoulder capsule. And as he gets more and more comfortable with it, he's gonna be able to pull through both at the same time, and finish strongly. And that way we can develop his back in a nice strong pulling motion without irritating his body. 